So, well, hi, I'm Janusz Maxe. Most LARP designs start with an interesting setting, like a close-knit community in a time and space very different from ours. And the setting is, of course, full of interesting and nuanced characters. But then we go, what should happen in this LARP? And we add the plot. That in itself is all fine. But when the plot becomes the big plot, it's a danger, danger it will crush the characters and setting, like a sledgehammer. And that is what I will talk about. What are warning signs that this might happen? The problems that might uh, follow from this? How do we handle this? And both as designers and players. More precisely, I'm talking about when the designers add plots that change the premises for the character's life, the way they think about themselves and how they interact with the world. I like to split this into two kinds, internal and external. To better understand this, I will refer to them also as paradigm shifts, meaning something fundamentally have changed. The internal paradigm shift affects the character, the motivation, sense of self, what feels important. It might be that they found there are monsters in the world. The inf information will be handled very differently by different characters. For some, the reveal isn't a change at all. They already believed in that. But for others, it's so disturbing that they must redefine the whole reality, who they are and how they live their lives. This brings them into personal crisis. And the effect of the plot is thus character dependent. The external paradigm shift, on the other hand, is when so something happens that is so big, it affects everything and everyone. It may be an invasion or a sudden order from the authorities to relocate. Many things that we think are important in our everyday lives doesn't matter anymore. Like the plans for a vacation. Everybody focus, we shift this new big thing because it creates a common crisis. It's the plot train that can't be ignored. It's so urgent, it clears the table of any minor plots and relations. Just note that the external shift doesn't need to be internal as well, since it might be well within the limits of the character's accepted view on their life and reality. Like an earthquake, it doesn't change your sense of self, but affects everything it impacts. And of course, many typical LARP plots will cause both an internal and external paradigm shift, like when Cthulhu monsters attack, because the characters have to handle losing their grasp of reality and at the same time survive this pressing emergency. So, those are the kinds of paradigm shifts, but why are they a problem? Because they make it really hard to continue playing the same way you were playing before. So many things in your life, in your character's background, like who you owe money to, or the rivalry with your neighbor about the lawn boundary, seems much less important when in the middle of a crisis. The internal paradigm shift means the characters has to refocus and many of the minor things in their life don't matter anymore to them. And the external shift forces everybody to ignore those minor things as well. Everything not essential will be put on hold. Anyone still focusing on the small details of yesterday will seem completely out of touch. Like who would care about the lawn boundary feud anymore? Are you discussing who broke up with whom back in high school now during a horror LARP? Thus, as a result of this shift, much of the characters and many of their plots the players started with are no longer relevant. They may not even be playable anymore. A character affected by paradigm shift might lose their sense of self in the world. They might, not even, it might act very strange and unpredictable maybe even become isolated from others by this. It's hard to play a play against such a character, and you also lose a lot of continuity. Barely, the players barely had time to establish normality, and now they have that taken away. 
they have to start anew, we change the characters. But we can handle this, right? My best advice would in fact to be to try to avoid the big plot that leads to a paradigm shift. Because the changes are so hard to predict and players will interpret the situation in widely different, widely different ways. Instead, use plots that are important but don't disrupt the setting and perceived reality. Something can happen that is special but not extraordinary. Something that, that the social structure, the motivations of the characters and the plans for the future can accommodate. But we want the big plot. <laughs> All right, so my second advice is then the organizers can inform the players about the big plot called transparency. By being informed of this beforehand, the players won't lose their footing and become unsure of what kind of LARP they're playing. Maybe so will some will not sign up at all, as they realize they aren't interested in the, in the direction the LARP will take halfway through. Also, the character writers and players can better plan ahead and account for the paradigm shift, writing and calibrating the characters and relations in a way that will survive the shift. Also, please avoid uh, writing characters that are too loose in the social structure with no one really caring for them, like a Casanova without any close family. Because who will be there and play them up when the paradigm shift hits everyone? Third, you can try to, uh, to mitigate the po possible problems by making a LARP front-loaded, meaning whatever big happens, happens before or at the very beginning of the LARP. Thus the LARP is less about handling and reacting to the big plot, and more about playing out the effects. Also, just as with transparency, the characters and relations can be written in a way that is clearer, with a clearer focus on playability after the paradigm shift, since you don't have to play so much before. The fourth thing you can do is to add fate play to the characters. This means that the writers help the players with a new direction when the shift happens by actually writing into the characters how they will react in a crisis. It gives the players something to hold on to as they don't have to come up with a reaction that feels both realistic and at the same time is playable. Also, this lets the, the designers steer the play in a preferred direction, like less screaming and more leadership. There surely are many other things you can do as well. This is simply my suggestions. But as you see, it means thinking a lot about how to plan the big plot and how that will impact the players and their journeys and the setting, both on the internal and the external level. In conclusion, my best advice is not to add a big plot at all, unless the crisis is precisely what this LARP is about. And if you do, plan very well for this, be transparent, front load, and work with the players, and use fate play. Thus you, thus you get the setting and characters that can survive a blow from the plot hammer. This will help the players and make uh, play and enjoy your LARP much more, and survive your very well-planned paradigm shift. Thank you. <laughs>